Hi, my name is Dan Hopkins, and I'm an ECM architect at Zia Consulting. And I'd like to demonstrate an integration we've done between Alfresco Share and Zoho's online document editing suite. Before we get started, I'd just like to tell you a little bit about our company. Uh, I work for Zia Consulting. We are an enterprise content management shop uh, that specializes in enterprise Alfresco systems integration. Uh, and as you can see, you know we're we're partners with a variety of different companies. Um, for the purposes of this webcast, the two most important ones are uh, Alfresco and Zoho. Let's get started. Uh, so I'm going to log into an instance of Share here, and if I go into, you know, I'm logged in as the username Kate, and uh, this company has an intranet. And I can navigate to, uh, you know, this site that represents an intranet and go to the document library. And here I have a representation of uh, three different types of documents that all use the, the Zoho editor. Um, you know, we've got a DOCX, just a word processing file, um, a PowerPoint presentation, and a spreadsheet. Uh, but Zoho is actually far more, you know, capable of editing, a, you know, a really... A large number of files, um, you know, and it, it, all of these are word processor files. You know, different types of spreadsheet, and then different types of PowerPoint presentations. So let's start off by editing this PowerPoint presentation. And as you can see, we've added a new uh, document action that a lot, you know, that says to edit the document. And if I click on that. It opens up, uh, you know, I'm still in share. You can see my customizations are still here. Access to dashboard and profile and sites. Um, but now, you know, it's, you know, I've opened up this document right inside of share. And, you know, we added this nice button that, so that you can full screen and, and really get uh, some work done. And I have, you know, this behaves very much like Microsoft PowerPoint. I can add new bullet points. Um, I even have, you know, kind of basic shapes over here and, you know, any number of different, um, you know, ways that I can edit this document. Um, you know, I could even go further and show this slideshow from, from Share if I wanted to. Um, and then when I'm done editing, I can save. And, it, you know, it's set up here that it's done. And I click the back button. And now I'm back to the details page, and if I scroll down here and look at the version history, I just created a new version, 1.9, um, 950, and as you can see, it's 950 right now, so that's my new version. So that's a PowerPoint presentation. Now let's try opening up uh, a spreadsheet document. So I'm going to open this up, and editing a spreadsheet document isn't terrifically exciting outside of you know Microsoft Excel and I'll show you in a second kind of some of the features of Zoho that make this compelling but uh, more than that you know we find that if users are able to collaborate they, then uh, it, it you know allows for more creative documents so um, I can actually now take this page URL and send it to my buddy uh, Jim, who works in another building, or maybe he just works in the office next door to me. Um, and when he then logs in, you know, obviously he's going to go to the exact same page that I'm looking at. Um, and so I'll click edit a document, and um, I log in. And, you know, it basically looks like Microsoft Excel. Um, I have many of the same features. I even have formulas. Uh, you know, this one is just doing a simple division, but there are more complicated formulas I could work on. I can span cells and, and uh, you know, do many of the things that I can do in inside Microsoft Excel. Uh, but more than that, um, if Jim now comes over here and he clicks edit a document, if you direct your eyes over here, we'll actually see him log in 
And there he is. And so now uh, Jim is logged in and he says hi to Kate. And you now have this instant messaging system that kind of works back and forth. Um, and Kate writes back. And so they talk back and forth and, and they can edit documents together. Um, and then, you know, this works similar to the way that uh, Google Docs works in this case. I can actually see that Jim is entering text into this cell. And if he makes a change, it will actually appear in Kate's pretty quickly. So more, you know, now, now they're editing together. And the most important thing is if this is from Kate's perspective, Kate saves it and then goes you know, back. First off, Jim sees that Kate has left. This now reads zero. And if she clicks on it, you know there are no users. Um, and if Kate, who saved it, goes here, you see that there's a new document created at 10.03 by Kate. And if Jim makes a change and saves that, now we will, Kate will refresh the page. And see that there's a new change made by Jim. Uh, and this is just to show that user, you know, whoever's modifying the document, that gets saved into the revision history. It, it doesn't come across as whoever started editing the document. And then the last thing I want to show you is what happens if I look at a little bit more complicated document. Um, this is a DOCX, which is Microsoft's latest standard. Um, and if I click edit, we've got a little bit more, more of a real world example of what a document might look like. So here's a document that includes uh, you know, it's got images and it has, you know, links inside of it and, you know, various other text changes. Um, but I can still make a change here. And, you know, maybe I bold it and then save that back. And it says save in progress done. Nice user interaction feedback. And then when I go back to the page, I see at 10.05, I now have a new document. And that's what I just created. So that's in a nutshell, the integration. Uh, you know, the key points are adding that extra document action to allow me to go and edit a document um, from the details page of here. And then all of the work that went into uh, communicating with Zoho, getting back that editor. Um, includes our demo. If you have any questions, you can email me at dhopkins at zetaconsulting.com or you can just go to our website and there are a variety of ways that you can contact us from there. And that's at www.zetaconsulting.com. Thanks.